In the past, work productivity as an ultimate goal aligned well with the baby boomer mentality of bringing only the work version of themselves into the office. What people worked on was largely done by individuals, and outcomes were somewhat more tangible and easier to measure. The growing millennial workforce famously blends their work and personal lives, bringing a more holistic version of themselves into the office. And of course, the need for belonging and connection is very important to this generation, as well as to anyone who's a highly collaborative worker. As a result, organizations are embracing employee engagement as a new mantra. But we have to be careful that engagement doesn't become a proxy term for performance. Companies invest in technology, policy, and workspace for one reason, to enhance productivity. Thus, the unspoken intent is that an engaged employee is more likely to stay, avoiding replacement costs, and may work harder, leading to greater performance. If this happens, the status quo remains, avoid costs and be more productive. Instead, we need to make sure that engagement also has an emotional component. I propose that that component is happiness. Real happiness and a meaningful life is not a short-term emotion. It's an enduring state that can lead to productive, engaged, and healthy employees.